thanks. Then, uh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yes, uh, I would like to have some question that which is related to the specialty coffee and find out your view about the specialty coffee and mm -hmm. the rise of the specialty coffee. And, and also, I'm really big fan of you and I'm really inspired by you. Everything that you do, I, I really love it. So yeah, uh, here is my question and first you can introduce yourself. What is it? Yeah, absolutely. Are you? And, yeah. Hello, I'm Lance Hedrick. I work in coffee. Yeah, that's uh, normally what I tell people, but I do, I work for a roastery in the U.S. I do consulting and I run a YouTube where I make a lot of really nerdy videos. But yeah, let's see, the first question, do you want to ask it? Uh, yes, first question is, where is your favorite coffee ever? My favorite coffee ever, that is a tough question and it probably would change on the day. I would say, I would say the first time, probably my favorite coffee experience was the first time I tried the tea oxidator mejorada from uh, Finca Solidad back in 2021. It was the first time I'd had any coffee from that farm and it was an absolute stunner. Uh, that was that was a special time. Okay, if you have to choose only one coffee in your the rest of your life, what would it be and why? And yeah. Well, okay, so I think the question's about like filter or espresso or something like that. Yeah, I would yeah, choose filter coffee. Um, I am a big fan of filter. I think it showcases the complexities and the nuances of the coffee in a way that is subtle and uh, something that you can really appreciate and chew on. Uh, I, I do love espresso, but it's really small beverage, super concentrated, and you really have to be in the right mindset in order to really kind of pour over all the nuances that go on in it. Uh, it's just a bit too loud for me to choose that for the only thing for the rest of my life. So I would definitely choose some sort of clean filter. Okay, that would be the mind too. <laughs> okay. So what is your thoughts on the rise of specialty coffee? Um, so since COVID, as we all know, there's been a big rise in people brewing at home all over the world, uh, which has been incredible to see. And so people who have started to jump into this hobby have kind of found their way into the rabbit hole that have led them to specialty coffee, causing a big rise in the world of specialty coffee. Now, I am very excited about this because there is an attempt within specialty coffee to do a bit better by the supply chain. Now, there are obviously a lot of issues still inherent in the system that need to be, you know, sussed out. But when the goal, when we can agree on a goal to kind of push equity down the supply chain, that is a future worth fighting for. And so I'm very excited and optimistic about the future of, uh, or I should say cautiously optimistic about the future of specialty coffee and hope that we can all kind of band together in order to make that a uh, reality. Okay, that would be great, yeah. So the last one, what do you want to see in the future? Uh, what is, what's gonna happen or what, for example, like, uh, do you want to see more like, uh, how can I say, infused coffee or the way like a traditional way, wash or natural, what do you want to see in the future? So when it comes to all of that, I, I feel as someone who's not a producer, as someone who doesn't make a living producing coffee, it's not as much my say. Now what I personally prefer are washed coffees, but in the current, in the current world, there's, n there's not a, I guess, a, a, a way across the board in order to make washed coffees the most sustainable way of processing coffees. So washed coffees tends to have a lot of water runoff, a lot of water waste, um, and you can have a lot of issues with, uh, like I said, with the water runoff. So there's, there's issues inherent in the system of washed coffees. Granted, there are places that are doing it in a way that's much more sustainable. So if, if it were like, if the world ran by what I wanted, which I'm glad it doesn't because we would go to hell in a handbasket real quick, um, it would probably be something like that. But I am for a future where whatever is best for the producers and whatever gains them more and more capital is, uh, is most important. So my hope for the future is whatever will be the best for the producing side of the coffee world. Okay, that's really nice. Thank you, thank you, Lance. Thank you very much. You see, my hands are shaking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes, it was, I, I, I didn't expect that you were can. I'm, I'm trying to plan on first out of what uh, water in chemistry mm -hmm. and trying to can bet uh, my boss don't let me go <laughs> because I, uh, I have a lot of time also, but I can came and bet that is why I just came. Yes, uh, no, like for October and mm -hmm. yes. So thank you, thank you, thank, 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 you. You, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah. Uh,
เอ่อเดเกเวอุซาฟิดเดเอ่อเมริกันยูเอลเลดดี้ดาวน์โตนเนเวอร์เลยตูเนซะกามะเปียวอะเมลูรองมะมะเทนทายาวอ่าจองบ